When I did the study, that was several years ago, uh, six years ago. Um, at that time, there was not as much controversy about gay marriage and whatnot as there is now. I think I would be more reluctant now to start such a study, knowing the way in which it would be used, since I'm totally uncomfortable with the aims of focus on the family. Dr. Robert Spitzer is a professor of psychiatry at Columbia University. In 1973, Dr. Spitzer helped spearhead the removal of homosexuality as a mental disorder from the American Psychiatric Association's Diagnostic and Statistical Manual. So it was quite a media sensation when Spitzer unveiled a controversial new study in 2001 suggesting that some very highly motivated homosexuals could switch sexual orientation. It is this study that Focus on the Family frequently cites when purporting that homosexuality is a choice and that anyone can change. It's understandable that Focus on the Family would be delighted with the results of my study because the study did indicate that there was evidence that some gays can change not only their sexual identity, but their sexual orientation, fantasy, arousal. So of course they are, were delighted with that study. What they failed to mention, and it's not, I guess, a big surprise, is that in the discussion, I noted that it was so hard for me to find 200 subjects to participate in the study that I have to conclude that although change is possible and does occur, it's probably quite rare. And of course, they don't want to mention that. We asked Dr. Spitzer how he feels about how Focus on the Family used his work to support a program that essentially seeks to deny civil rights to gays. Uh, it makes me feel quite uncomfortable. Um, and I'm kind of caught in that I think the study was needed to be done, but I'm not happy that the people who are making use of the study are people whose program I totally am at odds with and feel therefore uncomfortable with their use of the study. Dobson um, interviewed me at one point, um, and he used that interview as part of their um, you know, distribution process. And when I found out about that, I was quite uh, unhappy with it because I didn't realize that I had given permission for it to be distributed in that way. And I wasn't happy with his reporting it because he failed to mention the point that I mentioned, which is that I thought change was rare. But there was nothing that I could do. I had signed up, uh, permission, and so they were free to distribute it. As far as the, the gay person who is thinking about change, uh, the gay person wants to know not only can some people change, but how likely is it if I go into some kind of therapy or program. Um, so my study, I think, does indicate that some gays can change, but it also suggests that it's probably pretty rare. So the gay who is thinking about entering some kind of a program to change should know that the, the likelihood of success is probably quite small. And of course, Focus on the Family doesn't want to say that. To help counter right-wing disinformation campaigns and support the work of Truth Wins Out, visit truthwinsout.org.